Hey, what's up everybody? Ollie from Flight Comp and I'm just going to give you a quick look at these new Bluebird uh, M15V uh, Hall Sensor servos. Full metal CNC case, metal gears, high voltage, tons of torque. Uh, they say they have over 100 ounces of torque at 8.4 volts. So, um, really beefy servos. I've been running these in my Prestige 2PK for five or six months, and they've been flawless so far. Um, one of the neatest features is the pigtail is removable. So, you can cut this pigtail if you like and solder this into your um, wing harness and your sailplane and have a really neat setup, a lightweight and a quick and easy setup. So there's that. Um, this thing is really nicely machined, the case. It looks like a little uh, piece of jewelry actually. Um, 12 grams in weight and that's only uh, like half a gram or a gram more than a uh, plastic cased 115 HV right here. It says it has dual bearings and uh, this is a obviously a horizontal mount or wing mount servo even though it says V they put V on there because they think when you stand the servo up the mounts are vertical but I consider this a horizontal or wing mount servo so uh, I've been really happy with these servos they are not cheap I gotta say that right off the bat they're um, over fifty dollars versus these guys are twenty dollars um, so you know and the cost is the case the um, connector on the back and the hall sensor, the magnetic sensor. So those three three things really increase the cost of the servo, but you're getting a um, really nice, uh, precise, and very durable servo. Uh, since it is metal cased, um, it's going to have less flex, less chance of um, breaking the case or potentially the gears. Now this thing has virtually no um, free play in the gear train there's zero slop in here um, the servos on my prestige are still uh, slop free uh, I'm not saying over time it won't develop slop but for now they they're working really good um, comes with a servo pigtail one single-sided metal arm which I don't know how useful this would be for F5J applications and then a plastic um, cross arm like this. So um, I'll just give you guys a quick look at how this sounds, how it centers. Um, generally the hall sensor servo it doesn't buzz hardly at all so when you're uh, when you turn your plane on you can't really hear them they don't really make much noise and they sound different when they're operating so we'll do a, a comparison test on the centering um, this servo and a regular 115. So let me just read down some of the specs that Bluebird's given me for these. Um, at 6 volts, this is 70.8 70 ounces of torque, ounce inches of torque, uh, 7.4, 88.9 ounce inches, 8.4 volts, 104.2 ounce inches. Um, oh, that would be 7.5 kilogram centimeter. And they have sacrificed a little bit of speed to get that torque. So for example, at 8.4 volts, it's 0.1 seconds over 60 degrees and six, at 6 volts it's 0.14 seconds over 60 degrees but for um, most sailplane applications that's not going to matter at all and actually 0.1 seconds is really fast anyway and the motor on this guy is a cordless motor okay this is the Bluebird M15V centering test full throws a uh, 150% throws on the uh, travel limits. The length of the pointer arm is 90 millimeters.
We'll sub trim and move this over a little bit and repeat. And then we'll sub trim over the other direction. Now let's repeat this test with a uh, reduced um, endpoints or travel adjustment. I'll cut the um, travel in half. Okay, for comparison, this is a regular Bluebird 115 HV servo on full travel. try it uh, with the rates cut in half as well. And then we'll move the sub trim. So that should have given you guys a, a, a feel for how the servo operates and what it sounds like. Um, it's interesting when you put pressure on the servo arm with the hall sensor servo, it, it doesn't buzz at all. If you were to put pressure on your control surface with a regular servo like this, it, it would start buzzing and humming. I've really been happy with the servos in my model so far. Again, it needs more long-term testing, um, but I'm really hopeful for these servos. I think this is going to fit 
um, a niche, f especially for F5J flap servos, where sometimes these servos this size that are plastic case just aren't durable enough. Again, these would probably be good also for F3J uh, ailerons and various other applications. So I'm going to continue using these, the M15Vs, and we'll see what they're like long term. Um, there are servo trays being developed. We don't have any specific trays for the servo yet, but uh, hopefully in the near future we will have some. If some of you guys out there are handy with designing stuff and 3D printers, I'm sure you wouldn't have any problem coming up with servo trays. And you can buy 115 trays and modify them slightly um, and make these fit pretty, pretty easily. So there was a quick look at the Bluebird M15V. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.